Good morning. How are you this morning? It has been weird in Southeast Louisiana overnight. I mean, winds, uh, rain, like tornado sirens going off everywhere. But hey, I have an early appointment this morning. So come get ready with me uh, so I can get out of here. It is like 626 a.m., which is like normally my eyes are closed and my mouth is open at this time of the morning and there may be some uh, silly noises coming out. But anyway, good morning, good morning. Thank you all for joining. What we're going to do today is just the simple makeup and then I'll do a reel on the eyeshadow after. But again, all those of you who follow me and are so sweet, it's Saint Cream Makeup, which is one palette makeup, and you use one brush to blend. Today, I'm going to use two brushes uh, because I need to get my nails done. My nails are in terrible shape, and the so I'm going to use the smudge brush just to help me apply. Okay, let's get going. Saint is three shades that make up your, your foundation. Now, used to be you came across with one shade, then came back with a concealer, then came back with blush, and then came back, came back, came back. And the next thing you know, you've got it all layered on. Not only that, but it also, the, the liquids dry to like a cakey powdery look. I just, I have too many wrinkles for that to look that way now. So that's why with the cream, I like the shiny. I like that it, it makes me look awake and it also just hydrates my skin as I wear it. Now, the first shade we're going to start with is a contour shade, and it is always a dark, a cool shade. And where does this dark, cool shade go? Well, it goes on the forehead, which is a hard part of the face. Contour goes on hard parts of your face. So we put it around, and this is going to give my forehead a little bit more depth and definition. It's going to bring it down. I have a high forehead. Now we're going to come over to another hard part and we're going to feel for that cheekbone and we're just going to go right on top of it up towards the ear. There we go. Just put a little bit of contour there. Same thing over here. Feel for the cheekbone. Start at the corner of the eye and just work it up. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Well, not perfect, but <laughs> good, 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 because <laughs> it's far from perfect. Okay, there we go. Now we have our forehead contoured. We have our cheeks contoured. They're defined and they're lifted. Now let's come to the jawline. We want to have a nice chiseled jaw like we used to, so we're going to go right along the jawline, but keeping it off of the face. Again, right over here, right up that jawline and just keeping it uh, underneath, not kind of under the neck, but again, it's not up on the face either. Now, I have divots right here and I have a turkey neck. So what I'm going to do is come underneath my neck further than you think I should and look at the shadow that created. What that did is that camouflaged my turkey neck so it's not as noticeable. Now, we're going to come and we're just going to go into the natural shadows of my nose to do the contour. There we go. Just into the natural shadows and you don't need much. Now, I go pretty heavy on the contour, but that's because I love contour. Um... But you don't have to use as much as I do. You're in control here, so how much you use is strictly up to you. I have a little bit left on the brush, so I'm just going to line that bottom lip. There we go. Now we're going to come to the lighter shade. The next shade is a brightening highlight. It is a highlight, and this is cream. Where does that go? That goes to the part of the face that you want people to see and you want to brighten. You want to keep the eye at the center of your face, not to the sides where most of our, our distractions are. And then we're going to come right down the center. I don't know why I don't use the smudge brush more often. This is like the bomb. <laughs> But your finger works as well. Okay, we're going to catch the center of the nose between those two contour uh, lines we drew. And catch the cupid's bow. And then again, the center of the chin. 
Now, when it comes to the eyes, we want to brighten the eyes, but we don't want to go all the way under with highlight or with any type of concealer, because if you do, that's going to end up in the, uh, the crepe skin that you have underneath there. As we blend, because this is going to warm up, this makeup is going to warm up to the temperature of my skin, it's going to blend right under. And remember, it hydrates as you wear it. So it's not going to turn uh, cloudy and it's not going to crease and all those things. Now, we got the inner and outer corner. We're going to come, our inner corner, we're going to catch the outer corner and we're going to continue it up into the... There we go. Up into the temple. Why did we do that? Because we are creating a focal point and see how this eye is kind of droopy looking and this one looks like it's awake and open. That's why. It is just using shading and colors to create an illusion. And that's what we're doing is making it look as if our eyes aren't as droopy as they really are. So again, let's come over here. And all we are doing is going straight line from the corner of the eye, or somewhat straight line from the corner of the eye up. Now I'm going to put just a little bit on my lids because I am purpley purpley today. So that will also help to prime it for um, eyeshadow. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come and we're going to just fill in where these folds are from your, your marionette lines. What this does, the, it's a fold, so your skin folds, you're taking away the shadow. We added shadows with our contour. We're taking away the shadows with our brightener. And you just want to go right just a little bit to the inside of each one of them. The fold will still be there, but it's not going to be as noticeable because, again, the shadow will be brightened. Now, I have right up through here, I have... um a loss of volume. So I have, I, I had serious weight loss uh, for the last couple of years on purpose. I'm not sick, but it did leave me with shadows on either side because my face sunk in. So we're just going to brighten that and take care and get rid. Look at that. There's your tip Tuesday, ladies. We are going to get rid of that shadow from a loss of volume in our face just by brightening it. So see, we do use everything that is in this compact. Do you do you use more if you want to? Uh, Saint has so many products and so many things that you can come back with bronzers and illuminators and you can really get a glam glam look if you want to. If not, these four shades are all that you need. Now we're going to move to my main highlight, and that is the shade that is closest to the color of my natural skin, and we're going to just use it as a filler shade. We'll put it where I have no other makeup, and there you go. See how you can see the three shades on my face. We want to leave. Good morning. Hi, Rosie. We're going to leave these right in their own lane and where they should be and we're just going to keep everything in its zone we're not going to just start and blend from the center and go all over the face we're going to strategically blend because we are strategically placing now my rosacea is being covered really well you can see the yellow has done really well with camouflaging that rosacea we're going to come up here and there you go Placement, for the most part, is done. I like to go ahead before I blend. You can blend at this point. I like to, to go with um, uh, my lip and cheek before I blend. This shade is Royal. I love Royal. She goes with so much. Look at her. She looks so dark in the tin, but look how pretty she is. Uh-huh. Yep. So now that we have her on our lips, we're going to come up here and see where we have our focal point 
for to the eye lift and we have our contour we're going to put our blush right in between there that's where it goes high up on the cheek same thing over here we've got our contour line and we've got our um, focal point or our lift line from the eye and so we're going to start right there and just put our blush or lip and cheek as we call it there we go Everything is placed. Looks silly, I know. But wait until the magic happens with the blending. Now, this is the brush that I recommend that you get. This is a great brush, but it's like an auxiliary brush. This brush, you can do whatever you want with it. You can blend. It's just a very good all-around uh, brush. So what I'm going to do is take my Saint Setting Spray, because this is cream makeup, so it does need to be set. So we're going to give each end a squirt. You can spray your face. You can blend with a, a dry brush and then come back and spray the setting spray. It's strictly up to you. What works best for you? I like a damp brush. I really do. I feel like I get a better blend uh, because the cream has, has warmed to the temperature of my face. Now, we're going to start right here at the jawline with nice soft circles. And we're just going to make sure we don't forget to leave this contour to where it's like one big blob. We don't want to do that. Also, you want to, once you blend, drag it down your neck. This is the only time we're blending down. There we go. I have the shadow, but it, I don't have the distinct lines that I have on my cheeks and my foreheads. That is what you're looking for. Now, we're going to do this little ditty we call stippling, and we're just going to gently press this makeup into your skin, and it's going to wear like a second skin. That's another thing, the beauty of wearing cream. And we're just going to catch that little line right there to cover that shadow that I have from the loss of volume in my face. You know, it's like we can't win, ladies. You know, either if your face is nice and round and all, well, then, you you know, you have a double chin. If it, if you lose weight, and, and you especially with mature skin, it's like your face just droops. <laughs> I mean, everything <laughs> droops. Let's put it that way. I got bat wings now, you wouldn't believe. But anyway, let's just keep stippling. Now, notice I haven't really gone to, other than around the jawline, I have not gone to the darker colors. I am staying with the lighter shades. Just get that corner of the eye. I'm going to flip my brush around. It makes it a little bit easier. And I'm just tapping. And as you see, whatever's on my brush is what is going under my eye with my crepe skin. And it is not going to settle in there. We're just tapping the nose where we contoured because we don't want to blend it out. So we're just going to continue with our little blending here. Now come over here. I'm going to start up in the temple and move it down under the eye, flip that brush around maybe for this. Yes, there we go. Same thing over here. And notice how I am strategically doing the light shades first because we want to marry the edges together, but we want each shade to stay where we put it. So there we go. So you can still see the brightness of our little lift. And don't you just love the glow that this makeup gives you? Now we're going to come up here and we're going to first just circle blend the main contour, the main, uh, the main highlight shade. And then we're going to come and get this contour and we are going to go up into my hairline. Today is going to be kind of strange and another reason that I'm up early. I'm going to be on our local morning TV show. So ask me if I'm nervous. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> but my 50 year high school reunion is coming up in June. And uh, so we're going to do a little, you know, thing on the morning show to kind of promote it and get the word out that, hey, you know, time to buy tickets is coming to an end. But I am just a little bit on the nervous side because, I, again, I want to look like me, but a little bit better. You know, it's like, please have good lighting. <laughs> So now let's come over here and blend the, um, yes, it's very pretty. This makeup takes it, it and, and again, the way the premise behind it with it being cream is it doesn't lay on top of your skin. It actually becomes part of your skin. So it moves with your face. It's not cakey. It's not powdery. It, it's just it's beautiful makeup and it's a dream to wear. It really is. Okay, we're going to take this contour shade and I'm just going to stipple up and down it twice just to soften it. Then we're going to take the contour and just drag it up into the temple with the lip and cheek or the blush. There we go. Same thing over here. Just a little tap to soften and then grab and drag up into the temple. There we go. What do you think? All I, everything I used was on the top layer of this compact and I did use two brushes. I used this brush to place, but you can use your finger. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to share the beauty of this makeup and also to, to teach you how to use it because that's the best part. If you get it and you don't use it, then, you know, I did something wrong. Let's put it that way. This is makeup you're not going to buy and throw in the drawer. You are going to use this. This is just beautiful makeup. Now, just because I'm extra, and you can just ask my husband and kids, yes, I'm extra. I'm going to add a little bit deeper and deepen the blush just a little bit. And again, like I say, I am just a little bit extra. So that's why. <laughs> Here we go. All righty. Thank you. There's more of you up than I thought would be. Thank you so much. Okay. There we go. Now let's take our brush and we're just going to feather blend this out. Just feather blend just a little bit. There we go. That makes me feel more like myself. And other than my eyeshadow, I'm good to go. But um, let's do some eyeshadow while I have you here. Let's just keep going. I wore basic black because I didn't know what else to wear. And two, it's chilly outside, so I needed some jeans or something on. So um, I said, okay. And then I have my little, like, no color, I guess a beigey color um, um, duster on. So let's see what we have to go with it. Before we do that, let's do the brows. Here we go. I was looking for my little line brush. This is my favorite, favorite brush for filling in these brows. And again, I used my contour to fill them in. So what I'm going to do is kind of look over in the mirror because the light kind of blinds me. There we go. And I just fill them in. Now my eyebrows are permanent makeup, but I can show you, I have a video out there that if you don't have, you know, like a map to go through with your eyebrows, I can show you how to draw the map and kind of connect the dots. So just let me know what you need to see, what you need help with, and I am here to lend you that hand. Okay, there we go. I think eyebrows, they frame the eyes. And cause see already you notice my eyes more than you did before because my eyebrows were done so long ago, they need to be redone. But when you've got contour, I don't mind just, just drawing them in a little bit rather than spending however much money it is to get them done again. There we go. And you don't wanna bring your tail down too far. Get the arch and you don't need to bring your tail down too far because that's gonna drag the eye down as well. So just a couple of little t uh, hints that we can do to, to make it a little bit easier and uh, make us look 
and feel. And that's the other thing. You may look one way, but if you don't feel pretty, that's the other thing. We want you or I want you to feel pretty. Um, I did a lady's makeup last week and that was that was what she left me with and that was the most precious gift in the world. She said, I feel pretty again. And I was like, my job is done. <laughs> That's just it, because again, how we see ourselves is not always um, how others see us. Now, I think this is pomegranate, and I think it looks going to blend pretty well with royal, which is what I have on. And I kind of am like looking at with, looking at it with, 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 with. Oh, drop something. There we go. I have a mess here. If you can see what's in front of me, it's bad, but that's okay. All right, I think I'm going to pair it with, I believe this is Sabrina. And so these are the two shades I'm going to wear. So what I do is I start, I do a simple eyeshadow, uh, a dark shade and a light shade. So I am going to go tap into with the small end of the eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to start right about the corner of my eye and draw a line. And I'm going to bring it over on my lid just a little bit and then drag it over. Now notice with the straight line, what that does is it gives the eye a lift, makes it look more open. So we're gonna do that and we're just going to drag it over. You you hate autocorrect. I am a woman, cream makeup has been a game changer. I kind of wondered, but I, I, was, I was with you. <laughs> Yes, you are a woman. Yes, it has been. Saint is a wonderful, wonderful makeup line. And, and you're right, it is a game changer. It truly is. And I'm with you. I could live all day without autocorrect, especially when I have to tell it for the third time. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> so, and it keeps correcting it for me. Again, now we're going to come over to the other eye. And like I say, just kind of use the corner of your eye and just draw a line relatively straight up. And then I like to, like I say, drag it over, uh, not quite a third of the lid, but just a little bit over. And then drag it across the hood. And again, let your hood fall and kind of get the two even. They don't have to be perfectly even, but more even is better. But what this does with this line is it, it cleans up your eyeshadow and it also um, gives you more of an awake look and it really lifts the eye. And it's really simple to do uh, practice. You just need practice. Okay, so we're just gonna blend, 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 try to get them a little bit even. There we go. There we go. My school colors were green and gold, and I tried to put something together last night with the eyeshadow, and then the eyeshadow looked okay, and the lipstick was off, so I was like, eh, I'm going to bed, because <laughs> I have to get up before the chickens, so I will just worry about it in the morning. So God takes care of those when they need it, and I needed it, so he put these two shades in front of me. And again, we have pomegranate it and we have Sabrina. Now I'm going to take my finger with Sabrina because she is a shimmer and just brush her over and a little bit up. See I have a crease right here where the hood is so I try to brighten that because if I leave it in the dark shade it, it again it makes me look like I'm tired. That's almost the worst thing, the worst thing you can say to a woman. Oh, you look tired. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you want to look awake. You want to look, you just want to look your best. You really do. And like I say, with Saint Makeup, you can go full glam if you want to. Um, there was a time when I probably did and would have wanted to. Not so much now. So here we go. This is me. We're just going to blend in this Sabrina with pomegranate. And we have royal on our lips and our cheeks. And there you go. They have my custom colors. I think I'm good to go. 
So how do you get started with this fabulous makeup that those of us who use it have been talking about? It's so simple. You need to start with a color match, and that's what you have me for. Not only do you get this wonderful makeup, you get me as your teacher, your coach, whatever you want to call it. I am here to help you love this makeup. So what I want you to do is go to a window in your home when there's some bright light coming in. Oh, thank you so much, Dee. I appreciate you. Oh, wow. If you need anything, let me know and I'll, I'll help you as much as I can. We can FaceTime um, if you need to be sure you look your very, very best for that. That's a special day daughter's wedding. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. Um, <laughs> but what I want you to do is go to a window in your home, pull your curtains back, raise your blinds, and look outside of that window. Now, you're going to have no makeup on. I know. Nobody likes to be without their makeup, and I promise I won't show your, your photo to anyone. I'll be the only one that sees it. So what you want to do is look outside of that window with natural light coming in and no makeup, and take a picture of your face, get us just a selfie of your face, your neck, and your decollete if you can. There's a telephone number that'll be down in the copy and you just hashtag match, text hashtag match, and they'll send you the link. Upload your picture to that link, send it to me, and the rest is easy. It's 100% free, cost you nothing, and there is no obligation to buy whatsoever. This is my gift from me to you. Uh, if you would like to get started with this makeup. So say you get started with the makeup and you don't like it. Not a problem. Saint has a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. You mail it back in, they send you your money back or credit your credit card. It just doesn't get any easier. I thank you all so much for joining me so early on this Tuesday morning. And again, remember, if we just use a little bit of brightening uh, of our brightening highlight uh, underneath the contour. This is our Tip Tuesday. Underneath our contour, it will take care and make the loss of volume in your face just a little bit less noticeable. You have a beautiful Tuesday. I thank you again. You always bless me with your, your presence. And you be the reason someone smiles today. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.